I'm with Tony Di Benedetto, the CEO of Drone Delivery Canada, and I understand Drone Delivery is actually the only Canadian company um, at the federal level, correct? Correct. We're uh, we're a Canadian company. Yes. We are uh, we're using Canadian academics to build out this platform for Canada. We're currently working with the federal government in various levels, and also provincial and municipal, to uh, to bring this technology to Canada and to service uh, for first world communities. Mm -hmm. Now talk to me about what the process is like if I want something delivered by a drone. So uh, we're, we're still a little bit early into that stage. Uh, we've been working with, with a variety of different stakeholders, including our research partners, uh, like I said earlier, to build out this platform. And uh, the goal is ultimately at first to bring it to rural remote areas of Canada. Mm -hmm. There's over a thousand communities that exist in Canada that are completely off the grid and under service. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at bringing this technology there. and. Uh, address their immediate needs. So uh, eventually it will come closer to more urbanized areas such as your home okay. and deliver you your goods uh, from your online retailer. Gotcha. Yeah. Now what kinds of goods are you going to be delivering? You know we, we're working with a variety of different partners everything from uh, pharmaceutical to food to defibrillators mm -hmm. uh, to medical aid. It, there's not one uh, specific niche it's, uh, it's pretty much everything and anything you can imagine. Okay. And what's your response to investors who are worried about liability, for example? Well, you know, there, there's, uh, this industry has really exploded over the last little bit. Uh, there's a lot of insurance companies that have come on board, creating insurance policies and uh, structures around this. And it's very inexpensive mm -hmm. uh, overall. And uh, so that, that's not really an issue. Oh, very good. And uh, when you say federal level, uh, you're working with the government. Uh, what kinds of responses have you gotten? And, and how's the, the, the stage right now? To my surprise, uh, it's actually been much better than I ever anticipated. Mm. Um, our current government is very innovation oriented, very technology focused, and uh, they've embraced this technology. Uh, they've been doing a lot of studies on this and we're kind of helping them understand what the realities are with this technology in Canada and, and how to implement it properly, uh, cost effectively and safely. Mm. So uh, we're, we're working together and we're, we're going down this path. Very good. Now, besides the fact that you're Canadian, uh, what other competitive advantages or differences do you have to other uh, big players? You know, we're very unique in what we're doing. Uh, everyone seems to be kind of focused on um, what we call is a depot to consumer to your home. Mm. We're kind of working at uh, what we believe is a more realistic level. Uh, we went to the federal government, we said, let us learn how to walk before we can learn how to run. Mm. So let us start in, in our Canada's backyard. Canada is a very vast geography. So let us start there. Uh, bring this technology there, uh, service an immediate need, and use this as a learning experience for everybody, for all stakeholders, ourselves, the government, and consumers, mm -hmm. as we're seeing this technology evolve. So we're very unique in that, and, uh, and our research partners have, uh, have helped us along the way. Awesome. So lastly, uh, what milestones are you going to be overcoming in the next few months that we should be aware of? So uh, we've, uh, we've actually, we're, we're, we're running literally a warp speed, I think is probably the, the right analogy to this. Um, we've, uh, we've done a lot. Uh, we've commenced commercial testing about uh, two months ago uh, in Ontario, and that's progressed very, very well with the University of Waterloo. And uh, there's gonna be some, um, as we continue to evolving the business plan, there's gonna be some major announcements coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working with a variety of different kind of clients, everything from crown corporations to government agencies in terms of acting as clients as well as corporate and service providers. So uh, there's a lot of good news to come. It's, uh, it's a very exciting time and uh, we're looking at bringing this to fruition in Canada. Very good, well Tony, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much. To watch more Capital Conference coverage, make sure you check out more videos on Small Cap Power.